guys, so I was wondering if you guys believe that starter locks or locks in general make us look unprofessional or um, unhirable, whatever. And the reason why I ask is because I am recently decided to go get back into the job market um, so that I can invest more into my business. And um, yeah, so I have to go to interviews. I went to an interview this week. I felt great about it. I felt very confident. And honestly, I did not think much about my hair. I styled it as I, um, to make it look neat and presentable, just like I washed my face and got the crust out of my eyes and brushed my teeth. Um, you know, but as far as feeling inadequate or feeling like my hair made me unhirable, I didn't think anything about it you know I honestly was worried about how if I was qualified for the job and how to ask for the salary that I wanted that's really my only concerns I think that um, once we really learn ourselves and know ourselves as a people um, we can embrace the very things that make us who we are and different you know I think that um, as a people if we embrace the our own uniqueness it shines through as confidence and as beauty versus trying to hide it. I can honestly say that I've been looking back at pictures and stuff, and I'm like, I cannot believe for so long I hid the very thing that made me, me, you know, that makes me different is my hair and other parts of me. But trying to hide that instead of embracing it, it I don't know. And I think that if we embraced ourselves more, then they would have no, other people would have no choice but to to accept it and love it, you know, for what it is. Just how they accept redheads for what they are. I don't believe that redheads are called unprofessional, you know, they accept it, that's how they, they are. Um, but it's up to us as a people to accept who we are, you know, and embrace that. And also, maybe it's time for us also to start building empires to where the people that are telling us that we're not enough, we don't have to be at their door knocking for shit. You know, we can build our own, have our own businesses and apply it other black owned businesses where we know we're not going to be discriminated against. You know, I don't, I, I, okay, so that's my stance on it. Not to go into a rant. But um, the point is, I just want for us all to embrace the things that make us our, our us, and instead of trying to hide these things and and change them and comparing ourselves to others, it's like, look, this is all we have is ourselves, and if we if real love stems from within, okay, all these things that we're adding on to ourselves that we believe are making us unhappy. That when we remove those things, we're removing that happiness. Now, if you have happiness that grows within, it ain't going nowhere, right? So I wish that for everyone. I want all of us to just love ourselves and walk high, posture up, walk everywhere with our head held high and remember high and remember who we were as a people and who we are as a people. They want us to believe that we ain't shit and that we have to conform to what they are, you know? Our hair is magical. It, it needs to be wrapped in satin and it defines gravity. You've got to be threatened by that, you know, and we're allowing people to to tell us to, to, I don't know, dim down our greatness. And I don't know why we're continuing to do that. We've got to stand up as a people and we've got to know ourselves and realize who we were before slavery and before this history that they're shoving down our throats. we got to wake up. Um, so, yeah, that's my rant. Um, I'm going to keep this video short. But yes, if you think that locks are unprofessional, if you think that natural hair is unprofessional, if you think that locks or natural hair makes us ugly, let me know why. Let me know where that belief came from. You know, why we believe these things. Who told us this shit? Who? All right. That's all.